So let's say you have a drawing that you've already been working on, you've closed it, you saved it. Uh, to get back to it after like closing down Fire Alpaca, uh, you can open it uh, either through going through and browsing through file folders or um, you can open it by clicking down and seeing the recent files that you've worked on. I've been working on two separate ones, so I will open those up. I can show you a little bit of how to use the tools in this. Um, so over here on the right are the layers panels. I usually leave layer number one blank and just start putting layers on top of it uh, because I, I don't know if they fixed this recently, but in the past, if you didn't have a layer one that is just sitting there, then the background automatically becomes transparent. And that's kind of a hard on the eyes to look at because it's like the checkerboard pattern. So here I've already got a bit of a sketch gone. So what I would usually do after this is to ink over this to make it a little more refined. So to make that easier, uh, I can select the, the layer that the sketch is on. Uh, this little eye icon, uh, you can toggle whether it's shown or not shown. There's blending modes, uh, which don't really apply to uh, a sketch. That's more for like refining and finishing uh, an illustration. Uh, but what's most interesting here uh, for the sketch layer is changing the opacity. Uh, this will allow it to be slightly transparent while still being visible uh, enough that you can go over it and really get into the finer details. Um, when you're cleaning up the sketch and making it into an ink inkler. So I'm going to go ahead and do that now.